Shekinah Worship Center announcements for this week. Theme for 2018, Kingdom Dynamics, Matthew 9, 37, 38. Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Visitors, thanks for being with us today. Join us in the CTU room for further fellowship after service. Our Buy a Brick box is located in the entrance. Please give as you can. Every bit helps. Our Super Tuesday prayer. That God's people will daily live in a way so that sinners will want to come to know our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Wednesday, Elder Hayward will continue to teach on discipleship. Thursday, Superintendent Battersby will present Lesson 9 on Escaping the Coming Night based on the Book of Revelation. Friday, KFC, 6.45 p.m., Teen Fusion, 7 p.m. Saturday, Band and Praise Team, Rehearsal, 12 noon. A Bible Mag Get Moment, what is this saying? Answer, Bold as a Lion. If you would like to purchase a CD or DVD, please place your order at our media table. Sermons available include, no thank you, I am worship, would you go there? Just strange, and family feuds. Of course, there's no arguing with God. When he says to do something, you better do it. And pastor referred to Esther this morning. And I recall Esther almost gave up as pastor confirmed her queenship she almost gave up her purpose because she did not want to do something she was afraid to do what god told her to do and she received a message that said if you don't do it god's going to find somebody else everything the bible said it everything all his household ain't no way i'm going to be without the presence of the lord three months I can't miss three Sundays. I can't miss one Sunday. I'm like, what's going on down there? I get jealous. Something about the presence of the Lord. Now, if you're, well, I ain't bad. Wherever the ark is, that place is blessed. Though God is everywhere and is aware of everything, this does not mean that God blesses everything. Come on. Come on. Hey. I wouldn't, listen, I'm not making an altar call now, but if you haven't felt God's presence, if you haven't felt God's glory yet, check out where your ark is. In the Bible, God made some strange requests. In Genesis 20, God told Abraham and Sarah that they were going to have a son. And we know they were up in age, but it happened. In Genesis 6, God told Noah to build an ark because he was going to destroy the earth. In both of these stories, we can see that God asks ordinary people to complete a task that they were not sure of. In my studies, I looked up the word strange, and one definition of the word means exciting or or, or extraordinary. And you know what? He was honest. I'm Hebrew, and I serve the God who created the earth, and I serve a God who created the sea. Well, pray to your God, tell him, stop. What's going on? How come you can't do it? What's going on? And these men were becoming more fearful. So Jonah said, you know what? If you wanted to calm down, throw me overboard. Instead of going to Nineveh, he was going to want somebody to kill him. Hmm. Well, they said, no, okay, what we'll do is we'll row the boat trying to go back to the land to drop you off. So as much elder trot as they were rowing the boat in the storm, it was getting worse. They had no choice, and they said, Lord, listen, these men who, and this is beautiful, the men who worshiped idols were now crying out to the God of Abraham. So during this period of our text, and really in the Bible, there are two things that I found to be very important, and it's your name and what it means, Mm -hmm. and then your family history. Mm -hmm. Everybody knew their family history. Because when you even go to the New Testament, they talk about the Old Testament people who we're talking about today. So you knew the family history and you knew what your name meant if you knew nothing else. So what this tells me is that there were plenty of opportunities for somebody, Mm. anybody, Mm. to decide they would step up and break these generational curses. Wow. They were breastfed in this feud. The milk, it was 
wasn't the milk of human kindness. It was the milk of competition. It was the milk of need to have self-esteem. They were taught, Lord have mercy, look at this. They were taught the Torah in the feud. So I'm in the house of God, I'm in the sanctuary, I'm in the temple, but I still, I still got a problem with my brother. I, I still got a problem with my sister. I got a problem. Happy birthday to my daddy, Father Raymond Russell, today, November 5th. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday to Ishe Holden, November 10th. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and get notification when I post anything. Go to www.youtube.com, type in my name, subscribe today. Please look in our church bulletin for information and church invites. Support if you can. Words of encouragement for the week. You're not going to master the rest of your life in one day. Just relax. Master the day, then just keep doing that every day. You can't turn back the clock, but you can wind it up again. The only time you run out of chances is when you stop taking them. Moving on doesn't mean that you're giving up. It means that you're making a choice to be happy instead of hurt. Swim family, these are announcements for the week. Please govern yourselves accordingly, and you know what I'm saying. Blessings abound.